don't be afraid of something you don't know. We here at Intec teach you how to be an electrician. You don't need to know anything about the industry to come in here and be a qualified electrician. The work we do is difficult, but it's rewarding. Uh, it's mentally rewarding, it's physically rewarding. At the end of the day, uh, every job I've ever left, I felt like I had accomplished something. Going to and from work every single day was an enjoyment to me. I enjoyed working with the people that are out in the field, uh, my coworkers, and it, it has given me a life that I could never have guessed I would have had. Our first field trip was to IBEW 134, and I instantly fell in love with it. It was, it was perfect. We did some pipe bending and a few exercises, some circuit boards, and I met Mr. King, and he was great. He's also uh, on the board of Chicago Women in Trades, so he kind of works hand in hand with them. He's a huge fan of Chicago Women in Trades and likes to bring in women. It was, it was just perfect. I fell in love with it immediately. Well, our curriculum is designed uh, to take a person with zero skill in the industry and create a qualified electrician. Um, and through that, we impart through school and on the job training uh, various tasks or challenges along the way uh, that um, during the process they're watched over. Um, so they're through the whole process of apprenticeship is that they're being mentored constantly whether it's by a teacher or by a co-worker or a journey person out in the field. So they're allowed to make mistakes uh, but they're supervised mistakes. Um, we don't allow individuals to make these mistakes uh, without supervision and that's the key there is that we do allow them to make those mistakes, but with corrective measures immediately following. Uh, the only real true way to learn anything in life is to make mistakes. And um, in how we, how we compound the benefit of that is that we have qualified people teaching these apprentices what the mistake is and why they shouldn't make it or what the corrective uh, decision should have been.